Watch my videos in your own language. Enable captions. Click settings. Then subtitles. Auto translate. And now choose your own language. Welcome back to my video guys and today we're back with the first sneak peek of the brand new update 3.10 in the Walking Dead No Man's Land and this is a pretty pretty massive update with many requested changes, additions, a lot of new content, a lot of ways, new ways to play the game. Uh, so it's very interesting and we're going to be covering a couple of videos, really excited so let's go. Today we're going to be covering the, uh, some new additions here and starting with the new cancel upgrade to level 27 yes now after this update you can actually raise your cancel level by one level level 27 is going to be available and with this cancel upgrade you're going to be able to upgrade the training grounds to level 27 i believe or 26 i'm not quite sure the numbers and the workshop to level 25 i believe uh, so you're going to be able to get your survivors to level 28 and your equipment you're going to be able to upgrade to level 31 so if you have reinforcement tokens you can actually use those with some xp and raise the current level of your equipment from level 30 to level 31 to make them stronger and then upgrade your survivors obviously with xp uh, now uh, you don't need to have cancel level 27 for this upgrade but you can have it as cancel level 26 you only need to be player level 72 and this is gonna unlock you after this update an upgrade to a radio tent i, I believe it's level 12 upgrade and this is gonna basically give you a free three star uh, call every week so every seven days you're gonna get a free roll on that 15 radio call that is usually that that's the cost but you're gonna get one roll for free because you're gonna upgrade the radio tent uh, to level 12 so this is nice because you still have a chance to get epic and legendary uh, heroes and tokens so it's really cool um, and yeah okay next up we have the batch rerolls so this update adds more functionality to the uh, reroll tokens because you can now use these to reroll uh, badges and this you can actually allow you to reroll three different things on badges so you can reroll either slot set or a bonus of a badge so you can reroll each of these individually and you can reroll them at whenever you want but keep in mind that after every reroll the cost for the next reroll is gonna increase so uh, this uh, means that for instance if I reroll the slot and if I want to reroll the slot again on the same batch, the cost is going to increase. But if I reroll the slot and then I go in reroll the uh, the set, the the cost is going to be uh, the same because it's only increasing for that particular type of reroll you're doing. Uh, so this is very cool. I believe it gives you a lot more option to customize your badges, uh, and it definitely uh, makes it worthwhile uh, creating any sort of badges because then you can adjust those badges with reroll tokens so yeah it's not too bad now the next thing uh, we're gonna talk about in this video is the new guild feature so there is a few changes here so they're adding a new role the co-leader role uh, and these are changes are similar to our world um, so the co-leader role you have member elder co-leader and leader and uh, basically let's look at the, this table and let's see what each uh, role in the guild has uh, or can do so for, first of all member so member cannot do anything member is like the standard role you get when you join a guild and this is something you just get uh, for being in the group in the guild you don't get any special privileges or anything uh, yeah next up is elder so actually this update makes changes to the elder and now uh, the only thing elders can do is they can accept people in the group and they can also uh, advertise the group by paying gold. They can no longer kick members. So yes, uh, I believe this was an issue before because mem elders could kick out members while the leader was asleep. Uh, so they can no longer kick members in the guild. They can only accept new members and advertise. So basically if your group is full, uh, you basically lose the purpose of it because if the group is full you don't need to advertise and you don't need to accept members So I feel like the elders are have a role, but they're only a certain role in certain situation if if with full groups elders is maybe means like a Thank you for being in the group and maybe playing challenges and guild wars something like that uh, next up is co-leader and the co-leader so co-leader can do basically anything like the leader but with a few exceptions so they can promote members to elders but they cannot promote elders to co-leaders only leader can promote uh, uh, elders to co-leaders 
and also the co-leaders obviously cannot kick out the leader and they cannot demote or kick out other co-leaders but they can do everything else in the group so like edit group type description advertise uh, kick members and elders uh, accept people everything they can do so this is really cool and it helps more with the managing of the group if a leader has very close friends maybe real life friends that you want to give co-leader to uh, so this is really cool um, in this uh, setup so yeah now the final feature with the groups uh, and for this video is that the addition is similar to our with the addition of inactive leader demotion what this means is that uh, if your leader has been inactive for a period of 14 days or two weeks they're gonna automatically be demoted um, and another co-leader is going to get that leader position now uh, the game the system is gonna look for the per the co-leader with the most stars collected uh, in the guild but if there is no co-leader then it's gonna look for the elder with the most stars and if there is no elder then it's gonna look for the member with most stars um, so basically this helps remove inactive leaders and appoint maybe leader uh, people who are actually more active in the group uh, but the thing is that I wish they actually introduced the auto kick as well once you're not active for a certain amount of time you get automatically kicked because if the whole group is, is dead the system is going to keep promoting uh, random people in the group with more stars but they're still going to be all inactive so every 14 days they're going to be keep demoting and promoting other leaders so that's that that needs i hope in the future updates we can see uh inactive uh, member kick auto kick or something like that like they have it with our but that's pretty much it for this uh, uh part for this first video of this update pretty cool update pretty cool features here with the groups with the guilds the battery rolls the new castle upgrades the free radio call yeah, stay tuned for more and yeah, I hope to see you guys all in my next video.